I think that the world society does not have a right to judge your relationship. And this, and so if you wanted my advice on that, if you forced me to give you advice on relationships, my advice would be st don't let the internet tell you if your relationship is good or bad. Because the internet's full of stupid people that don't know anything about having healthy relationships. They just know how to make YouTube videos and they will give you advice that you will take home and it will get your ass kicked. Like they, they will literally tell you things that where you'd be like, yeah, woman, I was on, I was in with the, the manosphere and they said that you need to stop because I'm a high value man. And, and next thing you know, you're going to be sitting there, you're going to have something else to complain about. You're going to be sitting at home by yourself <laughs> with your boys and drinking a beer complaining, man, these women, they be, they be doing me dirty, man. They be doing me and dirty. Yeah, I, same thing. Same thing's true with women. You know, I think that um, there are lots of, uh, the thing about, uh, about relationships, I would say, this is just me being uncle boys for a second. I hope that's okay. Is that there's a lot of, um, most of the answers of what it takes to have a healthy relationship are not always politically correct. Um, I think that politics, when it's mixed into how we interact, interact with each other as men and women, politics kind of screws things up. So, you know, when you're the hardcore feminist who doesn't think men deserve to be respected on any level and you come in with the mindset of something that you picked up from some radical lady that you saw online, um, then that man may walk away from you and you may not understand why. I, I think that personal accountability is really the solution in most situations, right? So that means that if I'm sitting there as a man and I think women do this and women do that and all my relationships have led to a certain outcome, I cannot have that conversation without considering my role in the process. Even if my <clears throat> even if my role is okay, I need to just really pick different. I need to I need to stay away from people. You know, I I, I tend to trust the big button to smile, or I tend to chase a, a chase people that remind me of my mother because my mother, uh, you know, mistreated me or whatever. Like I personally think that that's a personal choice. And I, and I would say, make it personal and, and customize it for yourself, customize it for your partner. And that's how you make things work. Because if you make it work, if you make a relationship work, if you make a family work, it becomes a very powerful thing. Uh, you know, I've, I've met people, I met another guy the other day who told me about his family business. And he was actually from the Nation of Islam. The Nation of Islam is, has some of the most solid human beings I've ever met in my life. That's why I trust them for my security at the convention, my securities, Nation of Islam. Uh, I love my Nation of Islam friends. I just feel like there's a, there's a solidness, there's a common sense. And this is why I encourage the whole black community to, even if you don't appreciate, if you don't, even if you don't connect to everything that they say, listen and learn. Because this, I talked to him, I don't remember the brother's name, I feel bad about that, but we talked for a minute. And let me tell you about him. He's part of the dark matter I was telling you about. Uh, this brother told me, that he first of all, I said, What do you do? He said, I build houses. And he was showing me all these houses he builds. I think they were like the, I, I, I could have sworn they were, no, there was another brother building tiny houses. I want to talk to him too. But this, this guy, he said he builds houses. So he's a builder. We need more builders in our community. We don't have enough builders. We have managers, people that can go manage a business. But I, I like people that can actually build a business because we have to build our community. And he told me about his family. He was telling me about, he, uh, he and his wife homeschooled their children. And his children all graduated from college with high honors, with these degrees in these really, you know, amazing fields, you know, chemical engineering and another one, you know, had a degree in some other type of engineering. And, and his children worked with him in this family business. And it was a really awesome, solid situation where his legacy is protected and, 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 and reserved because he's kept his children close to him. His children are skilled. Uh, th that's the thing. Your children are your trillion dollar assets.